Uh, hi guys. Um, today I'm going to make a video with uh, another character. I, I usually use the Wolverine for those videos. But uh, essentially I wanted to look at the controlling role from a different uh, point of view, from uh, using different powers and different loadouts, and essentially a different character. Uh, so the Wolverine uses gadgets uh, as a power and uses a martial art as a weapon and is a, a acrobat. Uh, by contrast, my Magneto character uses hand blasters as a weapon and uses uh, mental powers. Uh, there's nothing really I can use powers on. So essentially, uh, I'm going to show the difference between uh, the, the contrast between what I did with my Wolverine uh, in some other videos and what uh, I can do with uh, my Magneto character uh, that, that's different. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly what powers I use. Uh, essentially, I used uh, whatever powers I could to sort of try to mimic uh, the, the Magneto powers. Although I, I did cheat a bit here and there, but overall I, I managed, uh, since I created this character, to stay fairly fairly faithful to to the magneto character by himself so essentially uh, in order the power i use to give power back to to the rest of the group is called the psychic empowerment so essentially it does the same thing it, it, it does the same thing at the, the power that my wolverine uses uh, only the name is different but essentially, it gives power to the three three most uh, fatigued members of the group, and it increases uh, might and precision for a short time. So, and you'll see, well, like when I use it, I have the same little uh, targeting icon in the corner as I, underneath my name, like the green uh, the green target, as as I do with my Wolverine character. So, the name is different, but basically, it's it's the the exact same power. Um, So essentially, the debuff I use is called uh, Phantom Flames. Uh, again, it, it it does the same thing as uh, as the Wolverine does in the in terms of it reduces enemy defenses if you're a controller. So when I use this as a controller, you'll see the, the little uh, red shield under the, the my opponent's name. Uh, but it it's a bit different than the one uh, Wolverine uses. Then I have a power that. Uh, the gadgets do not have at all, which is called Bastion. It's a power that I find pretty useful, and it, what it does is that it, it will create a shield around my character and around seven other group members. So essentially, you can only be uh, eight people in a, in a raid group. Like the the maximum the maximum number of people you can be in a group is eight. So essentially what happens is that you shield your entire group, like all your group will have a shield around them and it will give them back power also. So, and also it will, uh, it will, uh, it will redirect some damage to, to uh, attacking uh, enemies. So that, that's, that's pretty much, um, that's the, if you play as a controller, you have to use that supercharge if you ask me it, it there's no and i remember when i first created this character people were calling me crazy for using that power uh, most people wanted to use instead a power uh called uh, the name escapes me right now essentially people were telling me i was crazy not to use word of power uh what that what word of power does is that it calls some sort of lightning that will uh stun enemies that will heal yourself and that will po po restore power to the, the the whole group. So, but but to me, the the bastion uh, was much better because it it, it protected the group. Uh, it it in many missions when the healer was struggling a bit a bit, when I would cast a bastion, it would give the healer uh, some breathing room to be able to to get back into the game and then start healing the group again. So it, it gave the healer a bit of a break and it allowed him some in, in tough situations to, to get back on, on the horse, so, so to speak. Uh, also, what I use is uh, telekinesis. That's my uh, power over time uh, power. Uh, essentially, it restores power to the group over time. 
uh, like all the power over time uh, powers. And essentially, I, what I can do is I can lift something in the air using that power. Again, there's nothing uh, around me that I can use it on, so I'll, I'll, sh I'll probably show it a bit later uh, what, what it actually does. And the thing I loved about that power was that it did allow me to to get healing barrels without needing to pick, a, pick them up. Uh, because essentially, I, as you see, is that I'll, I'll cast this on, on an enemy. And if there's something nearby, like a car, a truck, uh, a barrel, it will pick up that, that item and it will throw it at the enemy. And it, so if you pick up a healing barrel, it will throw the healing... If you, if you do this to an enemy and the power picks up a healing barrel, the healing barrel will break on the enemy and then it will give uh, power and the health to, to, to your friends. So, so you can, it, it, it's a useful power to pick up a healing barrel without even needing to picking it up. So it, I, thought, I thought it was really a really, a really neat power. Uh, this is the tele telekinetic shield. Essentially what it does is that it shields my character. It creates uh, this energy shield around my character and, and it will protect him for, for a time. Uh, essentially, Bastion does uh, a similar effect, but it does that on, on every member of the group. So, and also in addition to that, uh, in my gloves I have uh, a white mod that's called Regenerative Shielding. Essentially, whenever I use my shield, uh, I, I gain a bit of life also. So we, we don't see it right now because my, my health is full, but uh, along the, the, as I do the missions, uh, I'll, I'll show you when when uh, when it, when it happens. And the last power I started using, and I, st I started using this power not that long ago, uh, is mass levitation. Essentially, it's it's my crowd control. Uh, although the the telekinesis uh, is a, a pretty useful crowd control in a single target. Yeah, it may seem uh, like an oxymoron or like a contradiction to to use a crowd control on a single target. Uh, bear with me. That that uh, that's just how it goes. And uh, the Phantom Flame also um, uh, can do a, uh, can do a good job uh, crowd controlling uh, characters because essentially it will make them think they're on fire, and while they're on fire, they'll be a, a stunned for for uh, hopefully a few seconds. And uh, Mass Levitation, as the name says, essentially what it does is that you grab a bunch of of, uh, of characters and you lift them up in the air. And so, and while they're 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 lifted in the air, they're they're helpless. They're, there's nothing they can do. So that that's a, a fairly uh, a fairly neat power and a fairly useful. And also, it's it's the nice thing is that it it does it's perfect for the theme of the character. Magneto lifting a bunch of uh, objects and or pe people in the air. Uh, that's 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 something we saw not just in the comics many times, but even in the movies. So it does it does it does fit real well with the character. So okay, so here I'm going to have to defeat a bunch of uh, orange lanterns. And I'm going to have to recover various uh, citrine mist barrels. So here's one uh, one such uh, citrine mist barrels. And let's try and bring it over here. I haven't done this mission in a while, so... Oh. And I lost my barrel. I should have paid more attention to what was around me. I'll probably... I'll get rid of the barrels first, so I don't, I don't have to worry about those. And then I'll, I'll show you... Uh, I'll show you my, my verse powers uh, on the, the, the orange lanterns to, to give you an idea of uh, wh what I mean exactly. Uh, well, let's start right now. So essentially you saw the telekinesis, it lifted up the, the character in the air. Uh, sadly, there was nothing around to, to throw at him, so it, 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 it did not do that. I'll, I'll probably go into another um, area to, to show you... Um, like there's there's some places in Metropolis or Gotham where, uh, as soon as I use uh, telekinesis, it will lift the guy in the air and it will grab a nearby nearby car and throw it at the guy. Uh, if I can even do it with a health barrel and some mission, I'll probably try to do it to show you uh, properly how it goes. Uh, 
one of the bit of a cheat that I've been using is that uh, essentially I'm using Weapon Mastery with this character. I didn't explain properly Weapon Masteries yet. I'll, I'll probably do a video uh, fairly soon uh, about it. But essentially, the Weapon Masteries that I'm using is Brawling. In the case of Brawling, it's not unthinkable that Magneto would 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 brawl with someone. I, I, I could I could pull out uh, panels where you see Magneto brawling with the Almighty Colossus. But uh, for the arrow, it's uh, for for the other weapon masteries. Essentially, you see him using a bow. It's a little far fetched, but it wouldn't be uh, imp impossible to think that Magneto created a bow out of thin air with. Uh, various metallic components, so essentially he grabs a bunch of metal and creates himself a bow. Maybe. Not sure why he would need a bow to 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 send projectiles at his enemies. But anyways, so you sometimes you have to bend the, the rules a bit. So let's oh let's lift it for our friend where there was a bit of a delay here. Sometimes, uh, sadly, it'll be a bit of a, for lack of a better word, uh, lag. It's it's pretty awful on PS3. So if you play on PS3, you have you have my sympathies. I, I've played on PS3 for years. Uh, but usually, and and sometimes it will throw off your weapon mastery. Essentially, after weapon mastery, like I've, I, if you saw the little uh, light effect around my, oh, it didn't do it now. Essentially, when you do a weapon mastery combo and then queue in a power, it's supposed to do a nice, a, a neat, a little light effect. But sometimes the the there's a bit of a lag that threw off your timing. Essentially, you need a certain timing to be able to pull it off. Uh, like here, you see it worked. But sometimes the bit there, there's a bit of lag that will throw off your timing and that will make it almost impossible to 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 succeed your weapon mastery combo. So when that happens, uh, there, there's nothing you can do. You, you can just do the best you can. So I will use the uh, Phantom Flames, which I didn't use it yet. So as you see, like the, the poor little guys think they're on fire. So that, that's, that's pretty much how you, you get to control them. And then you can lift them up in the air. As you saw, it worked on uh, one of the guys, but the other guy somehow was immune to it. Uh, sometimes some characters will be immune to certain uh, crowd control. Uh, sometimes they will just uh, they will just manage to resist it. I'll show it to you if uh, if it happens at some point. Usually, what happens is that if the some some characters when they resist the crowd control, you'll see a little uh, literally resist written uh, above them. Oh, and I'll have to go speak to someone. A Green Lantern forward base near here is under attack from the Orange Lantern construct. I've done those missions mostly as a villain. Uh, essentially, I have a character called Galactus. And he's the one who, who mostly did uh, those missions uh, at the time, when, when the, this DLC went live. So ironically enough, I haven't done them all that much with my Magneto character. Like you saw, uh, one day like little guys help less. Uh, sometimes it's, it, it it allows you to uh, let's say you need to click on a console, but there's a a, a bunch of uh, of characters uh, standing nearby the console. Obviously, they will they will if you try to use the console, they will try to interrupt you. So what you do is that you crowd control them, you you uh, get them to be floating in the air, and then you can click on the console no you problem they uh, until they they break out. To give than to uh, and right now my character is uh, overgeared, so as you saw, I did not get any uh, any marks of uh, valor, for, uh, uh, many marks of victory for this. What I got is uh, an alternate reward box. So let's see, let's see what's in the box. 
and I got an exabit cluster. It's something that I added not that long ago. Essentially, it's a little thingy like this. When I click on it, it will give me one of each color of exabits. So I have uh, two of each right now. So it, once I click on this, I'll have three of each. And there we go. It's a nice consolation reward, I guess, but ultimately it, it doesn't really matter. As you can see, you can you can, you accumulate a lot of uh, of quests in your journal. Uh, what I would suggest is look for them by location. So right now I'm in the Metropolis Battle Zone. So these are the quests I have in this area. So let's go do the Violet. Uh, oh no, I can't do that one yet. Can I? So let's see, crystallography. Okay, that's the one I'm looking for. Mogo's asked that we collect some of the Star Sapphire's crystals. He so essentially, I'm going to go fight some evil pink lanterns. Actually, villains have to fight them too, so I guess that makes them neutral. So again, once you reach the orange area where the quest is, then the quest tracker tells you what you have to do. In this case, uh, we will need to acquire three ameth amethyst uh, crystal, and we have to defeat uh, six sapphire constructors. There's a whole bunch of different uh, star sapphire in there in the area, so you have you have to go through. Uh, oh, there's some uh, we need. So yeah, again, you saw a small delay when I used my power. Promethium Logbox. So I will repeat that again because uh, I, th I think it's important. But ideally, oh, we have to bring this over here. So once, as, whenever you start the fight as a controller, you don't even think about it. You don't even ask yourself, uh, should I do it? Should I not do it? The very first thing you do is you get, you get your little... Uh, your, your little green lightning bolt going uh, that that's the most that's the most important thing when you play by yourself you can do whatever you want no nobody cares but when you play with others like you see I'm using my telekinesis power and I have that little uh, that little lightning bolt underneath uh, that's a star sapphire warrior not what I need warrior not what I need so yeah so because when you're playing it with a group, like yeah, when you're playing by yourself, sure, don't don't use the the green lightning if you don't want to. No one no one can force you to. But when you play in a group, uh, a group will have certain expectations. Uh, so when a group has a controller, they will expect the controller to at the very least provide some power. Uh, at the very least, they will expect you to to at least use the the power over time. So maybe they won't care much about the psychic empowerment, or uh, in the case of the Wolverine, it's the defibrillator. So maybe they won't care about that, but they will at least expect you to give at least some power. And at the very least, you should you should always have the power over time. Uh, if you really want to help the group, using the psychic empowerment or defibrillator, uh, in the case of uh, the gadget character, it's 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 pretty much a must. Uh, Sure, you can get away with uh, not using it, but again, people will expect you to at least give some power to the group. So at the very, very least, at least use the power over time and keep that little great lightning lightning bolt uh, going. Even if you end up, uh, and even even if you don't use the 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 psychic empowerment. The very least you can do is at least use use the the. Use the power over time. Uh, get, get the little lightning bolt going. I know that uh, I must be annoying, uh, insisting on that, but way too often you, you'll you'll get in a group uh, where there's a controller, and the controller gives no power to the group. When when that happens, it makes it makes it makes what sometimes should be an easy mission way too difficult. Uh, way more difficult than it should be. Love, I will 
So I'll, I'll beg you, please, if you play a controller, give at least some power back. At least get your, your little lightning bolt going. That's, that's the very least you could do. If you want then to try to do some damage and then use powers to kill the enemies, fine. But at least give, keep yourself enough power to be able to, to uh, put up that little lightning bolt uh, as needed. I understand that the game doesn't doesn't really properly show you how to play a controller or a healer or a tank. Uh, basically, the game shows you how to be a, the game shows you how to be a, a DPS, and uh, you pretty much have to to learn uh, you pretty much have to learn to, how to be a healer or a controller by yourself. Now I need to find my last constructor, which is not an easy feat because there's a lot of those. Uh... Oh, here's here's a couple. Love is my Again, there's a bit of a delay. It happens from time to time, but it's it's usually not this bad. Uh, tonight, it's it's especially bad. I don't know if it's because the new the, the new uh, episode uh, went live and uh, the server has a tough time handling it. Usually that that happens when whenever there's a new update, you can can expect problems for the next two three days. I will endure. I don't know if you've noticed. I was able earlier to block breaker using. Uh, my my mass telekinesis. Protect me. Uh, I, I did mention before how a, a lot of uh, a lot of NPCs are what I call turtles or spam blockers. So I do have a tendency to gravitate towards uh, towards power or abilities that will block break you. It wasn't a conscious decision. Decision. Uh, it's just something that happened uh, over over time. So now we're done with our little missions. And we're going to go collect our rewards. Well, our reward. We, we already collected one reward. Understanding those star sapphire crystals will go a long way towards fending them off in the future. So let's look what we got in our little box. Ah, token of prestige. Oh well. And let's look what we have in our Promethean lockbox. As you as you saw earlier, um, with the Wolverine, it was pretty easy to to get styles I didn't have already. Uh, with Magneto, Magneto has a lot more styles than Wolverine has, so it's it's going to be much harder to to find uh, a proper style. And I'm not sure if I have defeat. Let's see. Uh, Mystic Occult. Come on. Ah, uh, crap. Let's take the... I hate taking these, but let's take the base item. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Doesn't seem to be part of the Mystic uh, style. Like, I don't see anything called a Mystic Knight stand, unless it stands for a 
a lamp or something. Oh well. So anyways, that was it for, for now. So hopefully it gives you a, a better idea of the, the controller role from another uh, point of view. I'll probably try to uh, make a video where I'll go deeper into uh, into the, the 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 mental powers, and also I'll probably make a video about the the hand blasters. Uh, I haven't touched them at all, and also obviously I'll make a video about weapon mastery, uh, how it works, and um, how how you need to be able to execute it. So that that will be in uh, some up upcoming videos. So thanks guys and. Uh, have a good day.